Uh, good morning. I uh, apologize if I sound a little crazy. Uh, I went to the hospital last week to get a new ID card, and everybody that walked past was sitting up there coughing. Um, it was mainly people that worked there. The very next day, I woke up and my throat was hurting. My throat hurt over the whole weekend. Now I'm sick. My chest is hurts. It's itchy. Um, but I made a video last week or the other day about seborrheic dermatitis and the products I was using and aloe vera treatment with the apple cider vinegar that I did, but I didn't really show how I did it. So I want to come back and make a video about the leaf that I use. Um, <clears throat> I know some people like to buy the aloe vera plants or they plant them themselves and have them at home, but I'm not that great at having anything plants that are going to last for that long. Um, which is why I don't really like flowers or any of that because I suck at growing things. So for me, it works to go to the store, buy this. Uh, for me, this lasts me a week. Um, it's pretty big. There's a lot of juice in here. It's juicy. Um, and it only costs a dollar. You probably can get it some places for cheaper, but this works for me. So $4 a month on my aloe vera and I use it for my face and my hair. Uh, because I wash my hair monthly, um, well not monthly, weekly. I wash my hair weekly, every weekend. I try for Friday or Saturday, but sometimes I might push it to Sunday. So I'll use this all week while I'm washing my face and then what I have left over is what I'll put into my scalp. I don't wanna take some, put it on my face, and then take that same stuff, put it in my hair, go back to my face. So I have to be done with using it for my face before I'll use it in my hair. Um, this is what it looks like after I've cut it all up and left it in here. Um, I cut them into chunks. So most people, I've seen, I've seen videos where people would take them and they'll stick them in a blender and they'll use it for all different kinds of stuff. I was actually thinking about trying to figure out how to make like a face peel. Take this, blend it up. I want to make a mask with this, but I want it to dry up and I want it to peel off. Um, so how I cut this up is take my scissors, my kitchen scissors, and I just glide it along the ends, cut it off, this edge, and then go alongside, cut this edge off. <clears throat> and then I'll probably cut, maybe like right here, cut this piece off. So then now I'm left with the long skinny triangle, no edges, and this piece is gone. Um, and then I'll just cut all the way down, cut, so then, I'm left with a bunch of little bitty chunks, which they're about like this size inside, this size. Um, and then I'll go with my knife and I'll take the skin off of both sides and stick it in my jar and then whatever juice I can grab from the leaf, I'll stick it inside the jar. Um, I've seen videos where people would use a mason jar. I think that would probably work a little better than this, but since I'm only using it, for six to seven days, I think the plastic works fine. Um, but I think if I was planning on using it longer, I saw someone say they used it for about three weeks, but mine doesn't go past uh, the seven days. So every night before I wash, when I wash my face, after I wash my face, I'll come to the refrigerator, grab this, rub it all over my face, my neck, everywhere, and use as much juice of it as I can and it'll start to dry out. The more juice goes on your face and uh, it won't look as um, clear and slimy. It'll start to look pretty dull and dry um, from putting it on my face. So I kind of use it until there's nothing left in it and then I throw it away. Um, so after the whole week of using this and I'm ready to wash my hair, I'll take my glove and I'll go in and I'll mash it up and try to get as many small pieces as I can. And then that was where I had to went and I put in the keto wash or shampoo and I put a little bit in there along with the apple cider vinegar and the castor oil. And then I, I went through, parted my hair kind of like straight back, but I made sure I put enough in the part 
that it spread to both sides of my hair so that way I didn't have to make um that big um I didn't have to make really tiny parts I can make them bigger and just make sure I grab more areas of my scalp um so this is amazing I actually like it for my face I haven't used this keto wash on my face in two weeks and I haven't had any breakouts, haven't had any redness, haven't had any skin peeling. I still have my eyebrows. Um, and I've used this as of right now, a week ago. So I've read there were healing properties or something in aloe vera. I don't really know 100% um, <clears throat> all the benefits behind it, but I feel like it actually helps. Because if I was using only this and nothing else then i'm pretty sure i would have breakouts by now but i'm just so happy that i don't have stuff falling out of my scalp and this part of my shirt is not all nasty and disgusting and embarrassing and i can actually like wear my hair crazy like this and if i gotta go outside and throw something in the dumpster or take the kilos had to play I don't have to worry about my hair is blowing around crazy and I got dandruff and scalp stuff flying around too. So I think this stuff helps. Um, I know most people don't like using steroid creams. People want something more, um, more natural. But for me, I had been dealing with it for so long that I didn't really have an issue with using it. Um... I did read something and I've been looking at it for a while. I was actually planning on going to try that after I cut my hair off. Um, was the Head and Shoulders Extra Strength. It's a dark blue bottle. The reviews on it for seborrheic dermatitis are really, really, really good. So I was planning on trying that once my hair is healthy. Um, I wanted to, I don't know if I want to test it to see how long it would go before my scalp broke out. Or should I just keep this up as like a routine thing to keep it at bay? So I'm debating if how I'm going to handle that. Um, so that's what I use. This stuff is everything. It's wonderful. I love it. Um, I like how my face feels after I wash it with this and rinse it off. It feels amazing. Um, when it starts to dry though, it, to me, it kind of itches. Um... That's what it feels like for me uh, right before it dries. Um, I've actually read up on people like using aloe vera and smoothies and drinking it and eating it. And it seems like it's pretty good for you. I don't know if I can stomach the texture of it just yet, but I just want to make sure I posted a video um, that you see what's helped me. I know we all have different scalps and our body reacts to something different. I've been dealing with seborrheic dermatitis for years on my face and my skin and it's been embarrassing. I don't wear makeup. So when I have a flare up and it turns red and I scratch it off and it comes back and dries up and turns into a sore, then it peels off. And then I have all these spots all over my face from the skin that's peeled off and now it has to heal and grow back. Um, I don't wear makeup, so it's not like I could ever cover any of that up. I'm pretty sure my coworkers always looked at me crazy trying to figure out why I always had all these red blotches on my face and why my eyebrows are part gone. Um, I've been dealing with it for so long that I've been researching and researching and researching and researching and trying to figure out what would finally work for me. And I did that through talking to my doctor, getting some of this wash um and figuring out if this works for me or not so far so good it's been about i don't know three weeks to a month of this so i'm not gonna stop using it because i don't really have a reason not to um there's videos on youtube that i would watch about people using this for all kinds of stuff and i feel like if this helped me and all the rest of the stuff that i'm using Hopefully it could be beneficial to somebody else because of break dermatitis, not knowing about it and just having this skin issue and thinking it, oh, it's just dry skin or, oh, it's just winter time. And that was what I would think at first. Like, oh, it's just cool outside and my face is getting dry and I kind of treated my skin as if I had eczema. So I would go and buy hydrocortisone, eczema healing, and I would use that on my face. But that's another steroid cream you can only use for so long without your face starting to get really thin 
and you damage in your skin even more. Um, there were days where I would put just Vaseline on my face. I kind of still do that. Just It just gives me an extra sense of comfort, at least for my eyebrows, that my eyebrows are moisturized enough to where I don't got to worry about my skin falling off um, or my eyebrows falling off because I've went a long time without having any eyebrows like right here. This one was probably the one that was worse um, and it's just never really grown back since from it peeling off. So every time I go get my eyebrows done so I can, you know, look decent by the brows, she would say, oh, this one looks so much better than this one. I'm like, yeah, it's always been like that. Nothing I can do about it. Um, but it was nice watching videos of other people, but I wanted to make videos for myself. Hopefully this can help somebody the same way it helped me. Um, I know what it feels like. I've been there. It sucks. But hopefully somewhere, somehow, there's hope that we can tackle it to break dermatitis. Um, I got to get back to studying. Uh, so you guys have a good day.